On December 1st, I went to see Depeche Mode in concert on the Las Vegas Strip. They're my favorite music group since the 1980s. I've seen them in concert twice before. This time I did something a little different, which is I took some magic mushrooms about two hours before they took the stage. Two different varieties, actually. A little bit of Golden Teacher and a little bit of Ecuador. I'm pretty sensitive to magic mushrooms, so I didn't need to take a lot. I didn't want to do a full-on deep trip, but I took enough that it would definitely have an impact. And so in this video, I'll share what happened because it was really fascinating. First off, the show was awesome. Uh, the music and the lights seemed much more vivid, probably because of the shroomy influence. But the main thing that was really different is that I felt tuned in to a whole other layer of the concert happening. First, there was the physical level where I was watching, seeing the stage, and I was tuned into that very nicely. But the other layer was the spirit level. And I became aware that it wasn't just the humans here in this reality that were watching Depeche Mode in concert. There was this whole other layer to the concert happening up in spirit space, where there were spirit level entities dancing to the music just the same. They had their own DJs that were somehow taking the music that Depeche Mode was playing here on Earth and they were amplifying it and they were adding other frequencies to it. Something that they could detect in spirit space that would make the experience deeper, uh, more visceral for them. It was like a big dance party up there, but not the same as the human dance party. The dancing was like of these light beings, these energy beings. And I became aware that Depeche Mode has many, many fans on the other side, such as humans who were fans of their music in the past and passed away. And now they're still enjoying Depeche Mode's concerts on the other side. And I found that really, really fascinating because the whole time the concert was playing and I'm paying attention to it with my physical senses, my third eye senses, I guess you could say, were really, really open to this other layer of the concert happening. And I was constantly aware of both of these different layers. So whenever one of the songs changed here on Earth, I saw the dancing and the, the lights and the visuals up on the spirit level changing too. Another thing that happened, which I found really fascinating, is when the song Everything Counts was played, I became aware of the sensation of stepping outside of time a bit. And I felt like there were three versions of me. There was one in December 2023 who was dancing and enjoying the music in the present. And then there was a version of me from 2013 who was also seeing Depeche Mode in concert at the Palms, which I actually went to. And then there was another version of me from 1990 who was also seeing Depeche Mode in concert in Dodger Stadium. And I could feel the sensation of being in all three times simultaneously, like my past self from 2013 and my past self from 1990 and my present self from 2023 at the time all dancing to the same song, because that song happened to be played at all three of those concerts. And I found that really trippy. I was especially moved when Depeche Mode played the song World In My Eyes, because they made that song a tribute to their bandmate, Andy Fletcher, who passed away in 2022. And they showed a young Andy projected up on the screen behind them. And then he gradually evolved glasses and then gradually they shifted his image to having closed eyes. And that was just really deep, I guess you could say precious, uh, that moment. Because I was a bit shroomy at the time, I felt Andy's presence there watching the concert. But he wasn't really so much presenting in human form. It was like he was very, very astral, very... Um, spiritual uh, as a being. So I sensed this pr the presence of him and I could tell that was him kind of watching over, but he wasn't so compressed into a human shell anymore. It's like he was extending and expanding his energy throughout the whole venue. And that was really powerful. It's like the I, I just sensed his presence and almost like his blessing there being present with the band and all the fans of the music. Uh, just makes me emotional just uh, <laughs> talking about it a little bit. Another thing that happened when they came out for the encore and did the final four songs, I felt the presence of my own higher self, like my spirit self, my astral self, pulling part of me up, like pulling my own human spirit out of my body 
up to that astral level, up to that spirit level, and dancing with them up there too. At the same time I was dancing, you know, the whole time I was dancing to the concert in the physical realm, I felt this other part of me like in spirit space up there dancing with all the the spirit energies. And that was just really amazing. It just added this whole extra layer to the experience. And it was, um, still getting emotional about this, Um, but it was really powerful in that I felt like I'm experiencing the music like spiritually as well as, you know, physically, the the auditory, you know, coming through my ears. I'm sensing this whole other layer that's like beyond just the emotional effect, um, beyond hearing the lyrics and hearing the instruments. It's this way of experiencing music as if it's like pure energy. And it was overwhelming, taking over my emotional circuitry. I don't think I've ever experienced music in such a deep, impactful, powerful way. <laughs> powerful way before. In fact, so powerful, it's like just the memory of it is like kind of overwhelming me. It's making me making it hard to talk. It was just a very, very deep and moving way to experience live music in a way I'd never had before. I even talked to some musician friends, like, do you ever have that experience of feeling like there's a spirit level when you're performing live? Uh, A couple of them told me, yeah, they're partly aware of that. So uh, if you're a musician, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if this is something that you've experienced. Do you sense that there's another energy layer or spirit level happening, especially if you perform live in front of an audience? Uh, And what's that like for you? Because I could tell you what it was like for me in this video, but I'm curious to hear your perspective on it as well. So this experience really opened me up to the idea that when we're all ghosts again, we still get to experience live music, dancing, but with a whole other layer another vibrational form of connecting with the experience of sharing music together and harmonizing together. And it was just so, uh, so beautiful to be able to have the sensitivity to tune into that. Uh, do I think it was real? Yeah, I actually do. Um, I don't think it was just imagined. It felt very real. It felt very visceral. Like I could see it with another part of me being so tuned into it and not controlling it, just feeling like this is something that's happening and I'm perceiving it. Um, through other senses that were kind of opened up and sharpened by the the gift of the mushrooms. So the overall experience was just the sweetest perfection. And I really want to thank Depeche Mode for putting on such an amazing concert, not just at the human level, but for your spirit level fans as well. Another thing that came through a little bit later during another streaming experience was to actually express gratitude for how much I appreciate Depeche Mode. They've been my favorite group of all time. And so I thought in the YouTube comments and on my blog where I post this video, I'm going to include a little personal thank you note to the band to just to share what their music has meant to me all these years. So from the bottom of my heart and my spirit as well, thank you to Peshmo for putting on such an amazing show. 